Soccer players cover total distances ranging between 10 to 14 kilometers, with more than one kilometer being covered by high intensity running. To be able to repeatedly perform and recover from high intensity efforts, aerobic fitness is essential. High intensity interval training is often used to enhance endurance performance of soccer players and is typically classified into five formats. Long intervals involve sub-maximal high intensity efforts at approximately 95% of velocity at VO2 max, usually lasting between 1 to 4 minutes, with 2 minutes or less of recovery between efforts, whereas short intervals also involve some maximal high intensity efforts. However, they are performed at approximately 100 to 120% of velocity at VO2 max and last between 10 to 60 seconds, with recovery between efforts typically being less than 15 seconds if the recovery is passive, or more than 15 seconds if the recovery is active. And for repeated sprint training, this involves performing a series of all-out sprints, for example above 4 seconds, or covering distance above 30 metres, followed by a short rest period, for example less than 20 seconds, between the sprint efforts. Whereas, sprint interval training involves longer all-out sprints, for example above 20 seconds, followed by a longer recovery period, for example, more than two minutes. And lastly, game-based training, or in the case of soccer, small-sided games, involves small formats of play for two to three minutes at self-selected intensities, using rest periods of two minutes or less between play. An ongoing debate exists over which approach may be superior between running-based hit and small-sided games, to help settle the debate, Felipe Manuel Clemente and colleagues conduct a systematic review and meta-analysis, titled Endurance Performance Adaptations Between Small-Sided Games and High-Intensity Interval Training in Soccer Players. This presentation, brought to you by Talking Sport Science, will be a summary of Clemente and colleagues' research. Regarding the study criteria, studies were only included in the analysis if the intervention involves small-sided games of any format, for example 1v1 to 10v10, which was then compared to a player group completing exclusively running-based hit, or a player group completing a combination of both small-sided games and running-based hit, which was carried out over a period of two weeks or more, performed by healthy soccer players who were involved in team training routines and according to the participant classification framework, had a minimum competitive level of Tier 2, with markers of endurance performance, for example the yo-yo intermittent recovery test level or direct measurements of VO2 max, measured pre- and post-intervention. In the end, 20 studies met the criteria and were included in the analysis. Across the 20 studies, the interventions range between 3 to 12 weeks, with the weekly frequency ranging from 1 to 4 sessions per week. For the studies using running-based hit interventions, short intervals were the most common, which typically involve 15 seconds on and 15 seconds off. Regarding the number of sets performed across the running-based hit interventions, it varied from 1 to 10 across the studies. However, most studies involved 5 or fewer sets per session. For the studies using small-sided games, eight studies exclusively used playing formats ranging from 1v1 to 3v3, while two studies exclusively used formats between 4v4 and 6v6. Three studies employed combinations of playing formats that included formats larger than 7v7, although always in combination with smaller formats. In terms of the relative area of play, 10 studies used areas equal to or below 100 meters squared per player, while 4 studies used areas above 100 meters squared per player. And in terms of the training regime, the majority of the studies using small-sided games exclusively involve 4 or fewer sets per session, with the duration of work per set ranging between 45 seconds and 8 minutes. However, most of the studies exclusively used 4 minutes or less per set. Moving on to the findings, based on the existing literature, 
Both running-based high-intensity interval training and small-sided games are effective at improving endurance performance and VO2 max, and do so to a similar extent. Also, no significant differences were found between using small formats of play compared to mixed formats, or between different types of running-based hit. The benefits of running-based hit formats are they are time-efficient, and can be adapted to accommodate players' individual needs. They can also be used as a top-up strategy, or in situations where a limited number of players are involved in the training session. Whereas, the benefits of small-sided games are they enable players to work on their endurance, whilst also encompassing game-specific skills, decision-making, and tactical aspects in match-like scenarios. The choice between small-sided games and running-based hit may also depend on the phase of the season, the number of players involved, and the team's context. However, it doesn't have to be an either-or approach, as combining both small-sided games and running-based hit can be an effective approach to provide a well-rounded training stimulus. However, it's important to interpret the findings with caution, due to the methodological limitations in the included studies. Furthermore, none of the included studies involved elite, slash international or world-class level participants, and only one study involved female players. Therefore, to enhance generalizability and understanding of the effects of small-sided games and HIT in different population groups, further research involving elite level and female participants is needed. Lastly, to help optimize training for endurance performance in soccer players, future research should aim to establish a clearer dose-response relationship when investigating the effects of small-sided games and running-based hit interventions. And that concludes this presentation. As always, I recommend you go and check out the full article. The link is in the description. Thanks for listening, folks. See you next time.